Let us introduce Ericsson Web Device Connectivity API. When you browse the web and find an interesting content, what you usually do would be just watching it on the PC, even if you are in a living room with a big TV screen. But why can't we enjoy the content on the TV? With the Ericsson Web Device Connectivity API, you can make a widget which connects your devices to the web. This is an example widget invoked as a bookmarklet. After the authentication is done, the widget shows the list of devices available for you. So if you have a DLNA-enabled TV, that will be listed as in the example. What can we do with this? We can simply drag and drop a video clip to the TV. What happens is what you just expect. You can also implement a control panel for the TV with using the API. In this example, we implemented playback control and volume control. You can set volume lower and higher, as in the example. Also, as the buttons indicate, you can pause, resume, and stop the playback. Here is another example. Now we invoke the same widget on the web album. With using this widget that uses the Web Device Connectivity API, you can share photos with your friends and family without asking them to look into a small screen on your PC or mobile. This will be very useful when you want to share photos in a party or family gathering, for example. This is the third example. Since what we provide is API, you can make a widget which is embedded into a website or a blog, as in this example. By putting such a widget on your web page, a visitor can connect his or her devices to the page and enjoy contents on it using those devices. The Web Device Connectivity API can also connect network attached strays to the web. This is an example of putting the same widget on a personalized web portal. This enables you to access your home contents regardless whether you are at home or on the go. You can simply browse the contents and play out wherever you are. You can even connect devices in more than one local area networks. Let us assume we are in a hotel room or a friend's house and we have connected the devices there as well as those in your home network. When you turn on the TV in the room, it will pop up on the widget. Since your home devices are also connected, you can browse the NAS at home as same as we showed in the previous example. Since you have now connected the TV in the room, instead of playing the content on the phone, you can now choose to play it on the TV in front of you. To know more about the API and how it works, please visit labs.erikson.com and find the Web Device Connectivity API. You can try the samples that you just saw in the video from today and also start developing your own applications using the API.